This morning we're going to review the logic of that JavaScript video two videos ago in which we basically looked at a collection and we performed a for each loop and then passed in a JavaScript function. Now one of the things to note is, is where this actually comes from and you may remember in that video what I said is basically what we're using is we're using a for each in JavaScript. So we have a collection and in the collection we have multiple documents and we're going to loop over each of those documents and we're going to do something to those documents. Now we use things like uh, db.collection.save which is a Mongo approach to saving a document. And we also use the dot notation to get um, the document name, or I'm sorry, the document, the individual document dot, and then of course the field, so that we will set what that's going to update. But let's go ahead and let's look at where the logic on the for each, because I understand some people might be wondering, right, but where does the for each come from? So let's look at that. So here is an online JavaScript console, okay? And so what this allows us to do on this online JavaScript console, and it's just this website right here, is it allows us basically to enter JavaScript code and test it. It's very useful for testing. So you'll notice that I have an array here. And what I'm doing is I'm saying, look, for each item in the array, this is very similar as if I had, you know, db.collection.find, right? For each, we're going to pass in the item in the array, and then we're going to console log that item, right? Now console log is the equivalent in uh, JavaScript. It's very similar to like console.writeline line in C sharp. And if I call this, what you'll notice is it produces A and then it produces B, right? Okay, so this is where this logic is, is based on, right? So we have that for each and then we have a function and this would be like where our our MongoDB collection would be, and this is going to be each individual document in that collection, and then this is going to be the, the document itself. Okay, So that's what we're basically doing is we're going over each of those documents in that collection, and then we're going to adjust it accordingly, whatever that is, but the principle of it is behind in JavaScript, and of course you can test it out in JavaScript and you can see, oh, okay, I can see how this is built, I can see how this is constructed, and you also begin to get a feel for the syntax, because the syntax, as you'll see, is, is almost identical. 